Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. In previous two videos, we looked at anchor arthroscopy and we looked at subtalar fusion. And on those, we talked about the aircast boot. So in this edition, what we're going to do is have a look at the aircast boot, look at its features and benefits and how to use it. This is the aircast boot. Now, this is the sort of boot that we put on after someone's come out of plaster, or maybe they've got an injury which um, they don't actually need to have full plaster, whereas this will immobilize their ankle. Now the Aircast boot, uh, personally I've tried other boots, uh, but this by far is the best one, the most comfortable one, and gives the most support. Um, the boot itself is very straightforward. There are three key sizes to it, uh, small, medium, and large. Uh, this one's a medium, uh, for, based on size nine men's, but the, you can look and see which sizes you need. The boot itself is solid in its construction, and the reason it's better than a lot of the others is there's three independent air chambers on this one that support and hold your foot. Uh, and it keeps it immobile. So just to oversee what the boot's about, um, there's two parts to it. There's the front section in, on the front here, which um, you put your foot in to start with, then you put this on. Three Velcro straps, so that the straps at the front here holds the um, piece just above your foot. Then you can work on the next one, holds it mid and the top. Um, the key thing with these boots is the way that you can put air into them. Now other makes we've looked at have the ones on the front and I tried them and they were really uncomfortable. With this, the air is in three independent pockets. So all you need to do is you've got a pump at here and you've got a dial here. So you start it off on one. So once the foot is fully strapped in, in place, set it on one, pump the button until you feel it so it's firm. Don't overdo it, just feel it so it's firm. Then switch the knob round to the two section and pump and then three and pump and finally you must lock it off. So you put it onto the fourth section, we've got a little picture of a padlock on. And basically, number one is for the right-hand side, number two is the left-hand side, and number three is the back. So as you're putting this on, you'll feel it tightening up. Now, you could do this for somebody else, but you need to be talking to them the whole time to make sure that they feel it's comfortable. These are designed to be weight-bearing. Some people will um, be able to weight-bear, others won't. Um, but um, it would depend on the injury, really. So the aircast boot is something, it's not really something you keep in a first aid kit. It would be something that um, has been um, uh, put on or, or prescribed through by a doctor. However, there may be certain situations in remote side where you do need to splint an ankle or you need to, to keep a foot injury protected. Something like this could be very, very useful. Finally, once the boot needs to be removed, you can just undo the Velcro and take it off, but you also need to take the air out of it. So to do this, all you need to do is turn it through to the three section and push this little button here and that will release the air and you'll hear the air coming out. Then move it to two, push the button and one, push the button. Now all the air chambers are empty. If you forget to let the air out, you can actually just squeeze the air chambers with your finger pushed on the button and then all the air would come out. Um, Insides, uh, to actually keep it clean, you can wipe the outside over. The insides you can clean these off the best you can uh, with a, a cloth. Um, and one other thing to make it more comfortable inside, you can just use a normal sock, uh, but it does come with a, a long sock, which is quite good because um, it keeps your foot warm, it keeps it protected, and also it stops the boot actually rubbing on your skin.